Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be trying out this hyper tough 4 inch angle grinder 20 volt lithium lithium ion cordless angle grinder. We're going to try it out. Uh, my other one blew up so I mean literally caught fire and blew up. Uh, so had to get another grinder. So let's do a review on it. Okay guys, so like I said, just uh it's forty-four dollars. Might as well say forty-five bucks at Walmart. I want I just wanted a cheap electric one, which they carry them. They're like nineteen dollars and eighty some cents, so twenty bucks. But they didn't have any, and this was the last grinder they had in the whole damn store. So we had to get this one. Monkey went and picked it up for me. I'm, on a project and my grinder literally caught fire <coughs> this thing I mean it looks like it's been open I can tell it's been open there's there's no no paperwork or nothing with it but the last one I had, I really need one, so. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been used. So. Um. There's the battery. Uh, they gave me, gave me one of these cheap grinding wheels these things are junk <laughs> but I'd rather had a cut off wheel or a buffing wheel or something give you this thing got the handle there you can put the handle in three different places put this battery in here There's no battery gauge, so 1.5 amp hour. Sounds kind of kind of junky. Let's get it on the charger. I can't give you really any specs because there's no paperwork with it uh, it's just when it's red and green the battery's charging when it's just green the battery's full charged all right let's go over here and plug it in okay let's um man that thing just don't sound like it's this battery must be really dead or something it just it sure as hell don't Seem like a lot of power to me for an angle grinder. Get it plugged in here. Green. Red and green, it's charging. Like I said, there's no book, so I don't know how long it takes to charge, but let's let it charge a while and see what happens. Okay guys, it's been four hours. Finally got it charged. Now, put this in here and let's see if it sounds any more powerful. Cool, all right. Put that back on now let's go try it out okay guys this is the project i'm working on uh as you can probably see it started raining so anyway i was reading some reviews on this thing and apparently it's a piece of crap so let's find out first 
going to does have that which that's nice okay all right let's try this something made a pop noise I don't know what it was Tell you what, that guard don't do shit really. Man, a lot a lack of power. I understand it's battery, but come on, man. And that's what they say happens. See the switch is still on. All right, so. Well, just for using it for however many minutes that was, not very impressed with it okay let's see if I can get my line across here and I think I went too far but let me let me get my line across here let's see if we can cut it across here Piece of shit. Well, that's it. Now, granted, this is kind of thick steel, but I mean, you know, that's the thickness I'm cutting there. You know, that right there. Uh, all right, let me get you up here and I'll talk to you. Okay, my overall thoughts, it's junk, don't buy it. It's 45 bucks, 44.88, okay, so 45 bucks. Now they got electric grinders there, which they were all out. This was the last angle grinder they had in our Walmart. So I thought, well, we'll try it. Well, like I said, it took four hours to charge it. Um, uh, the electric angle grinders are 19 something 20 bucks it's what 25 more dollars for this piece of crap I know what you guys are saying well just just go buy $100 well, people can't go buy $100 stuff every time they need something if I pay $20 for a grinder and it lasts me six months, I'm good with that. Now, I can understand going and buying a DeWald or a Minn Kota, whatever, or Milwaukee, Minn Kota, that's a boat motor, Milwaukee, uh, whatever. If you do this every day and you do it for a living and that grinder hardly ever stops, if you're a fabricator, you're always cutting, you're always grinding, I can understand that, okay? Like when I was at work, we had DeWalt's. For what I do around here, that's not going to cut it. As far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't pay the $45 to just to have that just in case. I would pay the $20. Uh, if I if I pay $20 for a grinder every six months, I'm still ahead of the game by the time the DeWalt's worn out at 100 bucks. You know, see what I'm saying? 
I'm still ahead of the game. So, and also one of the reviews was, it says in the handbook, which we didn't get with this one, in the handbook it says to only use grinding wheels. Do not use cutoff wheels and, and buffing wheels. It's only supposed to be for grinding the grinding wheels. Well, first of all, they're a lot heavier than them cutoff wheels. So that's telling me right there that the battery's even going to go down quicker than it did here because it's going to take more inertia to spin that and keep it spinning. So, I think it's junk. Uh, which, like I said, apparently this was open because there wasn't even a handbook in it. So, and it doesn't say anywhere on the box. So you buy this thing thinking you're going to cut some steel or something or even some aluminum. No. You buy it, you get it home. Then it tells you after you buy it, then it tells you, oh, no, no, you can't use cutoff. You shouldn't use cutoff wheels. They, they don't recommend it. So now you're going back anyway. Get the damn $20 electric one. Uh, I mean, if you're out on a job, how many batteries are you going to have to have? If I was out on a job and I needed to cut this line, it wouldn't have done it. It would not have done it electric one I mean if you're that that much where you're out and you're doing that much work get a generator get an inverter or something don't waste your time on that crap cordless drills and impact guns they're fine uh, I don't know about hyper tough because I, I haven't owned them um, but you know that's that's good they last a while they, these things are junk get you an inverter plug it into your vehicle or whatever and do cutting if you have to don't waste your time on this crap man four hours and I did what five minutes of cutting if that and I waited four hours on that to charge so you're gonna charge something up for four hours do five minutes worth of work at lunchtime charge it up four more hours it's time to go home what are you getting done absolutely nothing this thing right here is going back it's junk um, I can't even believe that you know and oh there are some some great reviews and you can tell they're paid to say the shit that they're saying oh my husband won't own anything other than this now the battery life is phenomenal um, outstanding power super powerful well the people that are saying that if they're not getting paid to say that they've never had a real grinder in their hands and frankly if you write a review like that about this you're a liar because I just proved you it does not have outstanding power it does not have great battery life charges quickly four fucking hours it took to charge this thing this thing's junk it's going back and if I have to drive another 18 miles to the next town over to to go to a uh, uh, it's like a tractor supplier, farm and fleet, what's it called down here? Rural King. Um, or I think a Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, they, they, have, they have them for like 30 bucks, Harbor Freight. I think that was the last one. Monkey had this one. Yeah, it's a Pittsburgh. So it's a Harbor Freight. No, Central. What is it? Drill Master. So I think this is a Harbor Freight. She's pretty sure because she, she had this one we got together. So it's five years old. Now I've used it, but I haven't used the hell out of it. But it lasted five years. You know, I've been with her for four years, and you know, up until today, it's done everything I needed it to do. So this thing is just absolutely junk. And I think she said she gave thirty bucks for that thing when she bought it. Thirty bucks. I mean, damn. I won't mind paying twenty or thirty bucks every six months. You know? I mean, geez, come on. And these batteries are so expensive for this thing you can buy a new one I mean it's stupid damn mosquitoes cuz there ain't so I'm gonna get get this box back up it's going back and we're going to get an electric grinder don't waste your time with this junk guys this hyper tough angle grinder 20 volt 1.5 amp hour I think it is right there Can't tell if that's a five or six. 1.5 amp hour. Well, geez, thanks. 20 volt. 12 volt. You can get six amps, five amps. 
what the hell so a lot of people won't look for the amp hours that's what you gotta look for but like i said it's going back and uh i mean i i don't understand how people can sell this stuff and make money and sit back and get rich and go hey i'm an engineer i'm a tool guy i sell a lot of these yeah how many come back read the reviews before you pick something like this up like i said i had no choice i wanted to get this this particular thing done that i was wanting to do today one more cut and i would have you know i set my i have to set myself with goals so like my goal was to get this piece cut out didn't happen ridiculous so anyway guys don't waste your time it's junk i give it zero stars i would write a complete review on it on their website except you can't give zero stars you have to give at least one star and i'm not giving it one star because there's nothing worth one star those three different things for the handle to me that's not worth one star i mean damn okay wow i can hold it like this now while i'm waiting on the battery to charge or i can hold it like this now while i'm waiting on the battery to charge same with over here i can hold it here while i'm waiting on the damn battery to charge come on like i read one review somebody said they they ran it for 30 minutes and it started getting hot. This thing ain't gonna run for 30 minutes. What'd you have, 37 batteries with you? Junk, two thumbs down, zero stars. Don't buy it, guys. Save your money. In fact, buy the $20 electric one. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Stay safe. We'll see you soon.